Welcome back, Chicabos, to another episode of Shadow of the Colossus, the PlayStation 4 remake. We are on the third episode. Hopefully things will go a lot better than last time. And I apologize for any audio issues at any point. The first video I realized that I was moving my mic and that was all that weird static noise. The second one was, even though I have my noise suppression on high for both microphones, it um, still had a weird echoey thing to it. And also I have a mini fridge that makes some white noise. So hopefully that fixes things a bit. Oh man. That was, that was a mess. But hopefully things are better. Uh, the problem is it's just audio problems. If I plug my headset into my capture card, I hear the game and everything, but it doesn't come through on the recording. If I plug it in through my computer, I don't hear the audio, the game audio, on my headset because I'm playing on a PlayStation 4. Derp. And uh, I have to hear it through the TV, which if I have it too loud, then it picks up I, in either microphone, I guess. So, fun times! We are off to see this magnificent beast. His name is Phaedra. And he is interesting. I can't really say too much other than that. That was really anticlimactic. I greatly apologize. But, like I said, I'm trying to stay spoiler-free for those who have not seen or played the game yet. So I hope y'all are enjoying this. It's, um, it's just nice to share things that you like to do with others. It's just nice to just share. Um, Yeah, I don't really have much to say on that. Just being an only child is, uh, it can be difficult. But my friend group has taught me, hey, this is how you play nice with others. You need to play nice with others. So, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. But, oh, this is what I was talking about. With the grass moving, you see the wheat? I'm guessing they're wheat? I guess? I don't know. Agro, stop moving! Jeez. See, see it move? And it's just not the tall grass, it's the low grass, too. Which, I have to say, for a place that has yeah. been abandoned for quite some time, judging by the s status of the temple and some of the other structures, how is the grass so short? We don't see any other wildlife. The only other wildlife we've seen have been birds. So, what? I don't understand that. But we are going into this little hidey hole of a little valley. This is where Phaedra lives. Well, somewhat close. Oh boy. Oh! So you don't get, you know, you don't get scared at that big rock that could easily topple you, but you trip over an itty bitty rock that you could easily run over. Okay. Oh, and these little black things? The little lizards? There are special lizards in this game. I mentioned it, mentioned it in the first video. They are silver, silver tailed lizards, and they max out your stamina. Well, they help max out your stamina, but it's really not worth it. I mean, yeah, that split second little bit might help, but going to all the trouble of finding them and then killing them and eating their tails is just, ugh. It's so serene. And 
another game mechanic I like about Shadow of the Colossus is that you can hold down the ride button or the X. For me, it's the X button. is to make Agro go faster or to get him started. If you just hold on X, he just goes. Um, he kind of just follows the path to his own way and you don't have to worry about you know, him not paying attention and whatnot. But these are the graves. Um, how much else to say about them? Uh, they're they're kind of like prehistoric mausoleums. You'll see on the inside. But yeah, there's Phaedra, kind of sleeping at the moment. I think there's a speed runner's way to get to them, but honestly. I like the way you get up on him. Focus on him and give him a little lesson. <laughs> See, he speeds up real quick once he knows where you're at. Is he coming this way? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's close. When Agro spooks, it's time to go. Pull us all to him one more time. So this is what he meant by the Rose of Guiding Graves. Um, like I said, it's a prehistoric mausoleum, but I can't see the grave-esque part in here. But the trick to defeating this guy is pretty much you get his attention and you hide. Wait, did he do the stompies already? Oh, nope, there he goes. Oh, he's mad. He made him mad. I need to wait for him to hunker down. Aggro, what the hell? Why are you giving me away? And run up and grab his butt. Up in his butt. There we go. No. <laughs> this one I feel bad for slaying. Should probably grab my sword. Oh. Yep. 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 Not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Let me just go down here. Oh! The game punishes you if you hesitate. Yeah, this is a real tricky one. The, okay, you're supposed to aim for the center? Oh, it was done anyway. Still, you're supposed to aim for the center of these things. Oh! Yeah, you're supposed to, like, aim for the center. That's, that's like, the center of the sigil is there. Unless it's just how it is in the amped up hard mode?
Yeah, you can see how the sigil is fluid with the shoulder. Oh, that was directly in there. Okay, yeah, I guess that's just hard mode then. Last of that, yep. Alright, we're gonna go back up here for a bit of steam steam. Try not to fall off. Just a little bit. Oh, this one's gonna hurt. I feel so bad. This one has sounds the most. I don't want to say animalistic, but this one sounds the most like a horse. Out of out of the ones, it just it kind of hurts. It's like yeah, I'm a badass for defeating this big monster. Oh. It really sounds like an animal. I that leaves me at least. It's, at this point, it's either you or the Colossus. There's not really a whole lot you can do. <laughs> One more stab, guys. And sploosh! Well, more like Shink, but you know. But down Phaedra goes. Did you see that I lost a little bit of stamina when I got punctured by the uh, tendrils? Interesting. The horse. Agro, you're so nice. It casts a colossal shadow across a misty lake as it soars through the sky. To reach it is no easy task. Alrighty then. Let us continue on. Now, usually if we are not right up in our girl's face, you can see that there are doves. Kind of flitting about. Oh, see, there's one. Oh, as I cover it up. Where'd it go? You can see the shadows, but the, uh, the doves multiply as we continue the game. Just a fun fact. Yeah. I mean, she's still dead, but you know. Do not be fooled, my little chicabos. Yeah. 
Colossus number five, or Avion, is not that far off. It's actually right next door to Phaedra, believe it or not. I always confuse Avion and Hydra's locations up just because of the area that they're in. Let's see. I'm trying to give you guys fun facts about the game that I've known for a while. Um, intentionally, if you can believe it, there used to be 48 Colossi. 48! Now, if you look at the map, do you? Th th there's no way you can fit 48 things on this map. There there's no way. They'd all be fighting each other. Which I had a really weird dream about that the one time. That was that was messy. That was weird. I I did not like that dream. <laughs> um. But the developer said, "No, let's drop it down to 24." And they're like, "Okay, that that's doable." And the head guy, he goes, "No, that's that's not enough. No, not dealing with it." So. The final number was 20. And... I really hope that didn't come through. <laughs> uh, my computer just dinged at me. But... The... I lost my train of thought, I'm so sorry. The developer said let's go with 20. Because you could fit... Four more Colossus Colossi on the map. And it was a phoenix, a dog, a spider, and a monkey. Oh! Hold that thought. This is a safe shrine outside of the temple. This is what it looks like. And you see that little glowy thing? That would be a stop. Oh, my. See if I can get it. Yep, you just shoot the lizard or stab it, depending on the area. And oh, there's there's a little bugger. Really? But the goal is to slay this tiny little lizard. This mutant lizard. And eat its tail for great strength. Which in reality doesn't really do much. Just FYI. Now if you're playing the PlayStation 3, then yeah, you want to collect all of them. But heed this. It is a long, tiresome task to complete. Dear lord, it just, it's bad. And this thing is avoiding me, so what you do is you come up here, you see the little shrine. Kind of looks like a weird panda, if you think about it. And you just pray, whatever your circle, your action button is, in my case it's circle. And it autosaves. So yay us! But the... Oh, you little bastard. Um, fun fact about those, if you have the lizard detection stone and you check your shmap and it still says that the lizard is there, just kind of go out of render range and come back and another lizard will spawn. That's how the multiple lizards in one area works. And sometimes the detection stone isn't all that accurate. Sometimes you have to go a little bit out of the way to find it. But it's not too, too bad. And... But going back to my fun facts of Shadow of the Colossus. They reduced it down to 20. Which I said was the dog. The dog, the phoenix, the spider, and the worm. And they had changed the locations for every Colossus to fit these four in. And some of them didn't really fit all that well. They didn't really mesh with their environment. Like Gaius was in where Valis was. 
and Phaedra was where Gaius was. It just it just didn't make sense for the arena with the Colossus. So the Phoenix was obviously a large Avarian. Uh, it kind of reminds me of what you think a phoenix would be. Like, basically think of a swan, but gigantic. And made with fire. And what you had to do was you had to write on aggro and wait for it to land? Or you had to shoot it's fire that was underneath its tail. It was really convoluted and very hard, so they kind of nixed it. Plus, they had a couple of flying... Um, flying Colossi already. They didn't want to overpopulate it too much. And the other three descriptions will have to wait. Because we are in the nest of Avion. So there's Avion. See his bright blue eye. And he's looking straight at us. Can you see that? Straight at us. Like, I know you're there. Call! But the funny thing is, is when he perches, he's asleep. As you can see, let's see if we can't get a little closer look. Sleep! See if we can't get a closer eye on Wait, is he constantly turning? Wait a minute. I don't know. That's kind of creepy, don't you think? Oh no, he's turning! He is completely turning! That is something I haven't noticed before. I wanted to show you guys that he was asleep because his eyes darken like he's sleeping. And he has kept his eyes on us ever since we left that platform over there. I've always gone straight forward to him. That's so weird. Oh wait, you can kind of see the glimmering eyeball. I uh, can't remember how to go into photo mode. Nope. 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 Um. That's definitely not it. Oh my. No. Wait. Oh, it's certainly not that. Oh my. Um. That's weird. Oh, it's down. Okay. So, for me, it's the down button on the pad, but let's see how close I can zoom in. But you can kind of see where the Colossus wing is, and then you just follow 
it close to the head, you see a bright blue, so it never is sleeping. That's cool. So, just a little fun fact. Oh, we'll do reset. No. Re so, this game is always in the daytime. Always. Literally 24-7. So what you can do is filters. Yay! You can have Vivid, which kind of... For me, it looks like it brings out the uh, atmosphere more. Like, it's kind of more like a blue, like shadows. You have warm, which is kind of like a sunset sepia type of tone. And then cool, which is definitely bluer. I don't know why you would have a green filter, but okay, whatever floats your boat. I mean, they could have just called it yellow. I don't understand some of these filters. Black and gray, black and white. Uh, I'm trying to find. Oh, this is the reminisce mode. Uh, the sepia type, where it's like in those old time movies, those silent movies, where you would go up to a colossus and pray before them and battle them again. Without God mode, just as plain simple wonder. And sometimes it's hard, like with Avion, you saw that we had to jump into the water to get to him. There's no way out. So that would be hard to get back out. I never really tried it. Let's see. Oh, and nighttime. This is what the world would look like if it was nighttime. So let's see if I can get out of the water here. See how the sun looks? Get out of the water, you jerk. But see how the sun has turned into a moon? I think that's pretty nifty. That's just my personal opinion. Unfortunately, I wish they could have done it this way. They could have put in maybe like a day or night cycle to play with the Colossi. Just to show time passing. But that's just my personal opinion. But, oof, sepia burns my eyeballs. Okay, we're done with this. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if whistling works. Nope, he don't give a crap about us until now. See, now we need that. You know, I never actually attacked him from this angle before. Oh, that's so weird. And then you can just track where he's flying. Flap, flap, flap. Oh, he's still looking for us. Oh my. You should... No? Not yet? What are you doing, dude? Buddy, we ain't got all day. What? I've never seen him do that before. He can't get to us. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright. That's really interesting. Oh, you learn something new every day. So, yeah, usually you go to. You go over this way. And you stand on the middle one and you attack him. I've never gone over to the left. I've never deviated. I've only known exactly where to go, what to do, blah blah blah. I know I need to use light bow and arrow to gain the Colossus's attention, but I am entertaining my audience. I'm trying to show them the neat things of your land. You're being a duty head. I've no- Oh! That was weird. That was so weird. I've never heard him make that noise before. That was spine chilling. That was really creepy. Alright guys, we encountered something new. What? What's he doing? 
His AI is all kinds of buggered. What the deuce? I think his AI is broken, guys. Because he's just supposed to see that pedestal where he was landed at? He was just supposed to lift off and dive bomb me. He's never done this before. I think I broke the game, guys. I don't know, that's... I mean, the water ripples with him being so close is really cool. But I really want you to see when he comes down. Oh, there he goes. I did something right, I think. Is he coming? <gasps> I got him. Okay, here he comes. See that? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to move because I want you to see the water still. Oh, I think what I'll do is I'll fall down again on purpose and I'll slow motion for you guys just so you can get more of that appreciation. And just look at the the wind particles. Like you can just see the mist and the air just flowing through you. Well, past you, but still. Alright uh, guys, uh, I don't know what happened with that AI, but it usually does not take that long. Alright. Close your eyes if you're nauseous! I will put in... I'm gonna put in a warning. You're already gonna see it by the time you see that part. But I'm gonna put it as a uh, high fall warning. Um, I know a lot of people's stomachs are sensitive to that, so I will do my best to put an advisory warning in there. Um, the water, I can't help, but I'm not purposely looking down into it. Um, but yeah, so... That's essentially what was supposed to happen. He was supposed to dive bomb us like, you know, a fish or a bird getting a fish. But I guess the game said, nah, not gonna do it, bruh. So, okay then. Just kind of wait for him to float on by. And... Spink! No. Spink! Spink? Oh, come on, dude. Just get punctured. Oh, there he goes. One for good measure. <laughs> oh, and this is why I get attacked. Alright, here we go. Oh, different way. Nice. I will definitely have to play that in slow motion. And you can just see the water mist just settling down. Look, the ripples are still going. You see that? Like, the water, the attention to the water is just phenomenal. That was crap. But the water physics, that is what I love about games, is water physics. Water, grass, sand, just environmental physics. That's not big. 
Haha! -ha! Alright, there's the last one. And I make it enough. Oh! Nope. I tried. Usually on easy mode, or in god mode as I like to put it, when you collect all the stuff and you have an exuberant amount of stamina and health. Usually you can stay on Avion for one full go, get all three spots, no problem. But for just starting out on a new game in hard mode, it's uh, it's challenging. I like it. It's a nice, a nice difference. And camera's gone a little wonky. They never fixed the camera problem. Did I get him? No, I did. Oh god, that's so cool, I can't believe it. Oh. Trying to get off of the uh, flappy wing joints. And the nice thing, if I jump, it just launches me because we're running with the wind. But the problem is, if you're trying to jump against it, to you ain't got a chance. All right. Here we go. Shink. And you have no... You basically have no disruption back here because his tail is the furthest away from his body, so it's the least effective. I think the most that happens is when he goes to turn in the cave. Like when he go, turns a bend like this is when you have issues. God, I feel so bad here in this crap. What? What? Did I not finish the wingtip? Oh well, shit! All right, not not what I intended. All right, so I'm gonna guess because we already got the left. Let's go for the right. Oh, yep, I didn't finish it. <laughs> Farewell, Avion. It was a pleasure flying with you. Oop, there I go. Sploosh! <laughs> Look at that water ripple! And I think you get caught. Oh, and he floats back up! That's right! You see his little head? See the ripples coming off of him? That's cool. So, after this cutscene, I will tell you about the last, well, the other three colossi that were removed from the game. Just to finish up that little story.
thy next foe is. A giant lurks underneath the temple. It lusts for destruction, but a fool it is not. However, I will identify identify this colossi or colossus next video. But as the for the final three short story, uh, the worm, pretty much the same as Dirge you will meet later on. So they kind of just got rid of him because it was pretty much the same colossus. They're like, no, we like Dirge better. Bye, worm. The dog, uh, they actually kept the arena for the dog. Uh, however, it also symbolized Celosia and Zenobia a bit too much, and they're like, mm, yeah, no, not, no, no, not good. So, bye to the dog. So, when we approach the arena for said dog, I will tell you more about it. And the final one was the monkey, and it was actually supposed to be in Dirge's cave. However, they obviously playtested the levels, or the bosses, the colossi, before putting out the game, and they saw that the monkey was just too hard. It would have just been too many arrows, too much frustration, it was just a pain in the butt all around. So. It is time for your daily nap, your daily rest, my lovely chick chicky bows. I hope you had a great one. Make sure you love yourself and love everyone else. And I hope you're staying safe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!